guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Roxas, and today we're doing brows. It's all about the brows. I am obsessed with this new little technique, tutorial, routine, situation that I've been doing with my brows. I switched up the products or the especially the types of products I've been using and I just feel like they look so bomb. Like they've really been looking bomb, okay? I'm really not even trying to like toot my own horn here, but what can I say, dude? They're just like, I love the shape. I really like how um, this little routine has been carving them out and just giving me that precision while also making them still look natural and full. Boom, boom, boom. So I'm really excited to show you guys this video and all of the new products that I've been using. I did partner up with Sigma Beauty on this video, which I'm super excited about because they're doing big things. Honestly, like they are like such a iconic brand to me. They were the first brand that ever reached out to me like way back when I had like under 10,000 subscribers. And um, I just remember being so excited that they reached out because they're so like, you know, they're just OG. So anyways, I'm really excited to be partnering with them. And let's go ahead and get into the little tutorial. All right guys, up close and personal for today's little video. Um, Cause I really wanted to give you guys a good look at the brows and how I'm gonna fill them in with this new technique that I've been using. But the main product that I'm gonna be using is crazily enough, a pomade. Now I feel like I haven't like gone with pomades in so long, but I really have been liking the look because it just gives you a very defined and sculpted look. So I'm gonna be using this pomade from Sigma's new collection. It's called the Define and Pose Brow Pomade and I use the shade Medium. That's the main product that I'm gonna be using to achieve like this kind of look, um, but they did release a full collection. So I'll just show you guys all the products so you guys can kind of know what they, what they got going on. So there's the Color and Shape Brow Powder Duo. It's really cute. Love the packaging. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> they also have a new pencil that has the pencil on one end and then also the spoolie on the other. And this one is called the Fill and Blend Brow Pencil. Then we have the pomade, like I told you guys about, the Define and Pose. We've got a brow crayon, the Clean Up and Highlight Brow Crayon. It has a little bit of a pink tint, so it's nice for canceling out discoloration. If you can see, I have like this purpley red tone on my lids, so nice for canceling out those colors. They also have the Prime and Control Brow Wax. You'll see me use this one, actually. It's really great for getting the brows in position information before you even start. It's a really unique product, too. I really haven't seen many of those on the market. And then obviously a uh, what was I trying to say? A brow um, gel. So they have three tinted ones that have color to them and then also a clear one. These are called the Tint and Tame Brow Gels. So even though the brow pomade is the main product that I've been using to get the brows that everybody has been asking me about and asking how I get those like super defined looks, um, the first product that I go in with is actually the brow wax. So I'll use this. I actually already did it on this side just so you guys could see the difference it makes. It just helps to hold the brows in place and give you the shape that you are like looking for, I guess you could say. It like shapes them up so that you can really easily go in and just fill in the sparse areas. So it's really easy to use. All I do is I go through the brow, swipe the product through, and it's actually like a wax. Like it's a, you know, really sticky formula. So then I go in and just brush everything through. And do you see how it's just creating? It's almost like a brow gel, but the prep step instead of like the post, like after step, you're prepping your brows to have them already in shape to get the shape that you want when you fill them in. And I really, really like this product. It's very unique. I haven't tried too many others like it, and I just feel like it makes a huge difference when you're going for these super sculpted brows. And you always want to brush upwards. Look how long like some of my brow hairs are. <laughs> They're getting crazier. And a lot of times what I'll do is like the brow wax actually helps me like I said, map out my shape and map out where the brows are gonna lay once I have product in. So if some are sticking out like they are today, I'll actually go in and trim them like right there on the spot. And then me, mm, on the spot. Um, but yeah, I'll go in and trim them just to get them really, really nice and precise looking. And this helps a lot with just getting those like perfect looking brows if you go in and trim the excess uh, when you need it. We got a straggler. We got a struggler. Right, 
now they're looking nice and cleaned up. We can see where we want to fill in. We can see where we want the shape. Um, obviously be super careful whenever you're working with scissors. And personally, I like scissors like this, which have a bit of like a rounded shape to them because I feel like it's easier not to just go crazy and cut off like way too much. Cause I have accidentally cut off like a whole part of my eyebrow and that's not fun to have to like let it grow out. Um, these particular ones are from Tweezerman and Huda Beauty, but they have a lot of different, like whatever you can find that has that curved edge will definitely do. Um, okay, so now we're gonna go on to the pomade. So I'm taking the medium shade on an angled brow E75 and I start out actually here where I have the most sparseness and I'm just gonna start to go in and fill in this area to make them look a lot more full. What's nice is because we already have that wax down, we already know like exactly where we need to fill in because the brow's already like brushed out and like in formation. So I'm taking the product obviously on that little angle brush, wiping it through the brows, and then I always keep my spoolie next to me so I can go in and blend. This product is actually really buildable so you don't need much at first and you can continue to build it up and it's not gonna look cakey. It does start to look a little crazy like you could see here, there's just like brow product all up and down. Um, but you know what? That's how we get the good blend, honey. And then we're gonna go in and clean that up anyways. <gasps> Just dropped my little powder. But anyways, yeah, we're gonna clean that up, so don't worry too much about that. And one thing that's different than my previous, like more recent brow routines that I've shown you guys is that I actually do take this product up here and clean up, sharpen up the top to get that even more defined look than we've ever had before, honey. And if you do have any like little sparse areas that are pesky and don't like to get covered, you can take a bit of the brow powder and just pack that on right there. And I'm using the uh, darker shade of the medium duo. See, works like a charm. And of course, our best friend, little spoolie, Mr. Spoolie over here. Mr. Cellophane should have been my name. Mr. Spoolie man should have been my name. Yeah. And honestly, once you're done with that step, those brows are locked down. Like, they're locked in place, okay? Even my crazy brow hairs, even my crazy brow hairs are pretty locked down. Um, so at this point, then I'll go in with a concealer. I usually, t I typically use a concealer when I'm going for more of this like sculpted out precise brow, like the perfect brow per se. Um, but if I'm like doing more of a quick and easy routine or if I want just something that's quicker, and easier to use than me, whoa, that was the same thing. But if I just wanna get out the door faster, then I'll use more of like a crayon or like a quicker product. Um, but I'm gonna use a concealer because we're going for perfect brows today, okay? So I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. Was that weird that I was covering my eyes? Don't know, maybe, potentially. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna use a full coverage concealer. And then the real trick to getting those brows nice and sculpted and precise is using a teeny tiny brush. So this is actually a lip brush from Sigma. It's the Sigma Precise Lip Line, but look how tiny like that little guy is. Yes, that is what we want. It's the L06. So I'll take a little bit, just swipe a little bit on right there. And I just dip the product in really lightly. You don't want too much product on the brush because it's so tiny, but just dip it in really lightly and go so Straight in and start carving out this lower part. This part is very particular. Like I like to be very, very precise on this because this is what's gonna shape the entire brow. Um, even if you're super messy on all the other parts that I've ever showed or that I've already showed, this is the part that you need to be very precise on. And then you can take a concealer brush. This is the F70 and just go ahead and blend that down onto the lid. Normally I use the exact same concealer as my like eyeshadow base. So it blends really nice and easy together once we have our eyes on. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I do and you can already see it's creating such a nice sharp line with whatever's left on this exact brush that you've used. You can go in and clean up the top, just wipe it along and boom, 
magic right there. Um, I highly recommend just using the same brush that you have and not dipping back into your concealer or your product because sometimes I was noticing that when I carve out the top with concealer as well, you can actually see it even after I've applied like my foundation. I can see that concealer line and we don't like sharp lines like that on the concealer. So just take that brush and you can, you know, just use whatever is left on the brush, but you don't need to dip back into concealer and do a whole thing up there. There we go. You can see how perfect it looks. The cleanup like really changes the brow, but you have to have a good base and like the nice fill in to like really get you going. Um, but I really, really like this technique because it's like boom, boom, boom. Do I have perfect brows? Did I wake up like this? I don't know. Sonic, do you know? Nobody knows, but you can see a difference. Like when I show them side by side, like this is like, yes, yes, honey. And then this is like, we need a little bit of work, but like, wow, okay, magic. Um, <laughs> so sometimes I go on with a brow gel just in case. So I'll just like, if I really need some extra armor, then this is an extra step. You don't have to, but it's just gonna like even more so lock your brows down and lock them in place. With the brow wax, it does really are already lock it down. So this is just if I really like feel like I need something extra, like some extra armor, but like, Oh crap. I will say that like when you do the side by side comparison, it looks a little bit on the warm side, but once I have my foundation and my concealer on, I don't feel that at all. Like it actually looks very neutral. It's just when I have my bare skin, it's a little, you know, it's a little boom, boom, bow. Boom, boom, bow, I don't know. Boom, boom, pow was what I was trying to say. Anyways, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do my other brow because you already know, you know the, the little routine now. So we're just gonna fix her up on the other side. Now this is the part where it starts to look a little crazy, like Chewbacca vibes. <laughs> but we're still gonna do the cleanup, so don't you even worry. But I did actually forget to say, whenever you're working with either the products or any product, you always wanna go in the direction, like swipe in the direction of the hair growth. So right now, like on the sides here, I swipe towards the side, whereas in the front, you know, you swipe up and down. On this side, I went a little crazy. I went too far up. So I actually uh, recommend going back in with the powder because now that we have the concealer on, a cream product is just gonna wipe away and it's just like gonna be a little bit messy. But if you go back in and touch up with the powder, you can use those pressing motions and kind of fix it if you uh, if you went too far up and you're not liking how it's looking. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> and there you go. So those are my sculpted brows using this new routine. I feel like it just makes such a difference. It just makes any makeup look just feel a little bit more complete. So speaking of makeup looks, I thought I would just do the one that was from my Instagram. A lot of you guys were commenting um, on that photo asking for a tutorial, but it was just a really simple look. So I thought I would just finish the video off with that since I know y'all wanted to see it. But first I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the Smashbox Hydrating Primer. This like really gives you like luminosity. It's not radiant or sparkly or glittery at all, obviously. It just gives you actually like hydration for your skin, which I love and I need. Look at this, you guys. I mean, I'm sure you might have noticed it by now, but that was where I had that little wart <laughs> cyst and I got it removed yesterday. So it looks a little crusty today. Hopefully my foundation goes on smooth over it because um, I haven't, obviously I haven't used makeup since like getting it removed, so. We'll see. And then for my foundation, I'm gonna be using two of my OG products. So NARS Natural Gradient Longwear. You already know I love it. Um, and then also my Sigma Beauty A, A, <laughs> F80. I don't know why I said A. F80 Flat Kabuki. This was legit the OG. The OG makeup brush. Using a brush actually gives you a little bit more coverage. You can see it already looks so flawless. Um, it gives a little bit more coverage than a blender or a sponge because the sponge does soak up some product and you're also in a way mixing the product with a little bit of water if the blender is damp. So when I want the full coverage vibe, 
I'll go in with a brush and it just like, it looks so flawless. But yeah, in that photo, I was honestly just wearing very basic makeup. So I was thinking like, should I just do an everyday routine? But I really did want to do an updated brow routine because that's what like, that's one thing in my routine that has changed is the products that I've been using. And I've just been like, obsessed with how they look because it just, it makes such a difference when your brows are nice and sculpted and they look perfect because that's like one of the center points of your face. So that's what a lot of people, you know, are gonna be looking at when they look at you. You know, you want a new boo? Get your brows on fleek, honey. I'm just kidding. <laughs> or am I? You never know. You never know. Foundation's on, it's looking good, it's looking flawless. So now we're gonna go on to concealer. I am doing my face first today because that's what I did that day. It's just like a super simple eye look, so you don't need to like really worry about getting fallout. But for concealer, well first I'm gonna go in with the Becca Cosmetics Under Eye um, Brightener. And then for my concealer, I've been doing a little bit of a new technique. Um, I went with to a masterclass where Hailey Baldwin was there, and oh my god, you guys, literally I died, she's so beautiful beautiful in person, like, you know I'm obsessed with her, you know? So I was fangirling hardcore, but the makeup artist, her name was Nikki De Roast, I believe, um, she, she was saying that on her clients and like on celebrities, she doesn't actually use much concealer. She only puts the concealer right where the darkness is. So kind of like where I just put that brightener. So I've been doing that lately and I have liked it. Um, I do a little bit more than she did because you know, I'm a, like more of a full coverage kind of girl, but I do focus the concealer right here in the inner corner now. That's what I've been doing as of late. And the concealer I'm using is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. First I go in with the shade Honey and I'll kind of pack that onto the skin using the exact same brush, that Precision 3DHD. Then I'll go in for my second layer with the shade Macadamia. So what I've been doing is using the Honey shade to again, continue to cancel out that discoloration because it's a bit more pink toned. It has like a salmon undertone to it. Then I go in with Macadamia just to highlight and brighten, but really keeping it centered. And then for powder, we're taking the Ben Nye Banana Light Setting Up Powder. Whoa, when I turn that one pimp on my forehead, really big, so we're not gonna turn. We're just gonna face forward towards these lights. Um, okay, I don't get flashback with this powder. It just sets it really nicely and smoothly, but it's not heavy, so it doesn't look like you're wearing a lot of powder. Light spritz of Fix Plus so that powder can set into the skin. And I'm just gonna let that dry for a sec. Putting the powder down first and then going back in and baking seems to come out with a lot more of a flawless finish. So I'm just pressing that into the skin with the Sigma Edge Kabuki F87. Do you see how this just gives you like a very smooth bake? Like it's not pounced on there or anything, like it's not, Glopped, glopped is a word I'm looking for. It's not glopped on there, it's like very smooth. That is what we want. So we're gonna, gonna go, um, we're gonna hop around a little bit and finish off the eyes before or while this baking powder is on. So I'm taking the same brush that I used for my concealer and just with whatever is left, uh, ugh, cannot talk all of a sudden, but with whatever is left over on the brush, just canceling out discoloration. Like I said, this particular eye look is not like super crazy, super fancy, we're gonna go all out. It's all, It was honestly a super easy look, which is why I was surprised that so many of you asked for a tutorial on it. Um, so, you know, usually I might try a little bit more, use a little bit more concealer to cancel out the discoloration on my eyes, but for this look, I didn't do that, so. I'm not gonna do it today. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of translucent powder and set the brow bone area. I'm not bringing this onto the lid though, just right at the top. Dude, the brows are looking bomb, okay? Not trying to toot my own horn here, but wow. They did that. Sometimes brows have a mind of their own and they're just like, I'm not gonna cooperate with you today. But then today was a great brow day, not gonna lie. Um, okay, so for my lid color, I just used this Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill cream, brow, uh, cream eyeshadow. Unfortunately, this is discontinued. So if you want something that's like kind of a dupe, the Maybelline Color Tattoo um, Chrome, it's like an eye chrome. It's more in like a doe foot applicator stick formula or tube formula. That's really similar. Not the one that's in the pot, the one that is in like the tube. I'll link it down below for you guys because this one's discontinued. So um, unfortunately you won't be able to find it, but 
it's my favorite and I really still wanna use it. Then to draw some extra attention into the center of the eye, I just placed a little bit of MAC Bronze Gold pigment right here so that when it shines, it doesn't make like a huge difference honestly, but when, when the light shines right, your eyes are gonna shine right or shine bright like a diamond. Get it? Okay. Not funny. Then I take the Sigma Flat Definer E15 and a brown eyeshadow. I'm using Melt Cosmetics Rot right now. And I just line the lashes um, on the outer third because I feel like it lifts the eyes and just gives me a little bit more of a feminine look. Even on everyday looks, I always tend to do this because I like the way that it shapes my eye. And then I'm just gonna go in with a quick coat of mascara and move to lashes. Now in that photo, the lashes that I was wearing was Instaho from Batty B. Honestly, my fave lashes. Like. I want to say of all time, they're really, really good. And they're just very va va voom. Um, so I'm going to place those on my lash line and you'll see what a difference these lashes make because they're very dramatic. Even if you don't wear any makeup, like if you don't have time for any eye makeup, throw on a pair of lashes and you'll be good to go. And then I'm going to go in with NARS Laguna. Um, I'm going to use this to kind of like do just like what I like to call a bronze tour. It's kind of like a mix of a contour and a bronzer. Um, I use two different brushes, so I'm gonna use a contour brush. This is the Soft Angled Contour F23 from Sigma. Then taking the Tapered Face F25, I'm lightly gonna go over that and just blend it out. And just so you guys know, all of the brushes from Sigma actually have a two year warranty on them, which I feel like is just good to know. And they are all cruelty free. And I use the Maybelline Master Chrome in that picture. And I am applying that with a high cheekbone highlighter F3. Place that in the inner corner for a little bit, like pop. You know, we wanted it to pop. I go in and highlight the brow bone even more because that just makes our already perfectly carved brows stand out more when you highlight that area. Then for blush, I'm gonna just dig into the blush cheek palette. I'm gonna take the shade Tiger Lily today because you know I love a good peachy blush, especially with a bronze eye. So I'm taking this on the Spotlight Duster F37 brush. Oh, I forgot to highlight the nose. Okay, and then for the lips, what I was wearing in the picture, to be completely honest, I don't remember. Um, it was a very light nude though, so I'm pretty sure it was MAC Strip Down Liner and then this little combo that I'm gonna wear today. But I wanted to try a new lip liner, um, and this one's from Dose of Colors. It's called Undressed. Oh, yes, lip liner. Then for my lip color, I'm gonna use a super nude one. This is K. KW Beauty Nude One. Super nude. But honestly, I'm into the super nudes right now. And I mean, how many times can I see super nude? <laughs> my God, my lips are so dry. It's disgusting. But how pretty is that lip combo, right? I'm telling you, the super nudes are their thing. And then for gloss, I'm actually, okay, wow, this shade is actually called Super Nude. Look. God, I thought I made that up, but okay. Um, <laughs> KKW Beauty Makeup by Mario Super Nude Gloss. Lock it down. I'm just gonna quickly run this bronzy pencil under there, all the way into the inner corner. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is more of a night look. If you wanted to wear this look during the day, you could even like not like leave the lower lash line blank, but when I was wearing this look, it was like a uh, night night out. And then add on some mascara. Climax from NARS is what I'm using. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more videos. Do all those shindigs if you want to see more. Oh, I almost forgot. I got a giveaway for all of you guys out there. Yeah. Um, no, I really do have a giveaway. So we are giving away the entire new brow collection. So if you want to enter to win, all you have to do is make sure that you're subscribed to my channel, like this video, and comment down below. Honestly, just comment down below what your favorite food is because I'm really hungry right now and I really want to go eat. So uh, yeah, comment below what your favorite food is and you'll be entered to win the full new Sigma Beauty Brow Collection. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, you are beautiful inside and out. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video if you subscribe. So you probably should. Brows are And honestly, and really getting crazy up in here today. Like, um, uh, uh, oh my god. Yeah. Really hungry. Uh, 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 u